So our takeaway here is momentum tells us how difficult it is to stop something once it's moving. Toughness, on the other hand, tells us how a material survives being stopped. It's also important to remember that in these tests, the toughness goes beyond the material that the parts were printed in. There are a lot of variables when it comes to 3D printing. First of the matter is the fact that all of these are built layer by layer, and that adds inconsistencies. You also have all of the process parameters, such as layer height, fill, cure time, etc. depending on if it's resin or filament, and all of these process parameters are what you're also testing when you're putting the material to the test. Beyond that, geometry heavily matters. For example, a material that form well in this toughness test in a different geometry might fail unexpectedly. And that's just the reality of 3D printing, because it's not just the material you're testing, it's the way you printed it too. I think it's also worth commenting on how difficult I found this sphere to 3D print. I have a box full of fails printing the sphere in filament because of the geometry. So this beautiful round surface creates quite a few overhangs that the printer has a challenge doing, especially upon where it contacts the build plate that supports left defects. The sphere STL itself also featured a very small opening, and while the threads are very nice for keeping the water sealed, this small opening made it very challenging to remove supports both in filament and in resin printing, and so a lot of the supports were still left inside during the test, which did add to the mass of the part, and I mean even in the resin failure you can see all of the supports just exploding out. Another thing to keep in mind are also the threads on the provided STL. While the idea is there, the threads are quite fine, and that becomes a challenge in filament printing, especially dependent on the print orientation, so having chunkier threads of a higher metric size I think would have been easier for printing. Overall, I put these materials to a test in a toughness challenge and these materials truly tested my toughness and patience when it came to printing properly. Now to end this video on a high note, pun intended, we decided to drop test the sphere off the top of a parking garage which is about 50 feet in height. I'll just roll the clip. The only really visible damage on the TPU sphere was two cracks, and I'll give you a zoom in, at the layer lines. You can tell up close too that there is a lot of under extrusion of the TPU, which is a perfect spot for cracks to propagate upon impact. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and happy printing.